Curtis cared. Mama was a farm girl, she had never left Blackfoot, Idaho, directionless, no options left She met Gus in a rush in the back of his truck They made a baby, named him Curtis None of them had made it past their teens Curtis was a farm boy, he was raised by Cain, never quite the same. Daddy took to violence when Curtis spoke, so he chose silence. Mama said, one day you'll see there's a place full of angels for just you and me. She knew her boy was broken, but she kissed his toes and fed him toes. Curtis cared, but he wasn't ready, he wasn't ready to tell her. He loved her, but he wasn't ready, he wasn't ready to tell her. Zella had a birthmark in the shape of an eight on the side of her face. She was raised by migraines and the chronic sick kept her household hectic. Stella walked four hours a day and saw Curtis for the first time. She became nervous with butterflies. She muttered hi, and Curtis said nothing and looked her in the eye. And Curtis felt his heart grow warm, and his chest felt tight as her eyes became diamonds in the golden light. Curtis cared, but he wasn't ready, he wasn't ready to tell her. He was scared, but he wasn't ready, he wasn't ready to tell her. For years he would stare at this girl who he carried in his heart as she grew and got married to another guy who was two years older. He wished he could go back and do it all over. Curtis cried, but he wasn't ready, he wasn't ready.